Hey guys, what's up? Welcome and welcome back to my channel, LaMonica's Lab, if you're new. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face of Milk Makeup products. I'm also going to let you know at the end what my final thoughts are on the products in itself. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up for more first impressions and try on videos. And if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. I'm gonna start off, I've already moisturized my face and primed it. I use the Kills Ultra Facial Cream as my moisturizer. I told you guys I've been trying this out. It definitely moisturizes your skin, but that's not what this video is about. I'll link all of the information down below of the other products and the milk products that we're gonna be using in this video. My primer that I use is the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. You guys know I love this primer. So that is that. And so this is the Milk Makeup Blur Liquid Foundation. It is a matte foundation and I have it in the shade Medium Tan. When you purchase Milk Makeup, it is suggested that you shake up the foundation. So this can be used for all skin types and it comes in a bottle like this. They actually just extended their shade range, which is super exciting. So it comes like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and squeeze... Maybe two lines, just two lines on each side. I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender. I actually wish that my I would have cleaned my Sonia Kashyyyk sponge. I really love that sponge on my Eco Tools or Morphe, but those are all dirty, so we have to go in with this one. Oh, it smells good. Unless it's my beauty blender from cleaning it. I know I look crazy right now, but this looks pretty dewy to me. And this say it is supposed to be a matte finish, a blurring matte finish. I'm gonna go in with the Milk Flex Concealer. I have two samples here. I got them from Sephora. Um, I have them in the shade medium and also medium beige. So I'll swatch them so you can see the difference. These are medium to full coverage concealers so the first one is medium and the middle one is medium beige and again these are the milk flex concealer I think I'm gonna go in with medium beige and then if I feel like it's not light enough I'll go in with medium but all of milk makeup uh, products are paraben free cruelty free 100% vegan talc free silicone free and dimethicone free so it's definitely like a more natural brand so if you're into that type of stuff then you'll love the milk makeup brand so i'm gonna go ahead and put on medium beige just like three dots and then the rest here just a little bit more Again, I'm going to set all of that with the Milk Makeup Blur and Set Matte Loose Setting Powder. Just got all of it dirty with my fingerprints, but if you have oily skin, this should work well for you. It comes with this little Let me just go ahead in it with my sponge like I typically would do. putting my brush in there and I'm just gonna go ahead and set my entire face with this so I did not get a bronzer from milk so I'm gonna go ahead and use my typical bronzer that I normally would use which is the Mac cosmetics uh, mineralized skin finish and dark is the deepest so I'm gonna go in with that to bronze up my face so I'm going to speed up this process and also I'm going to add my uh, L'Oreal, L'Oreal, La Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder Glow. You guys know I've been talking about this and I have it in the shade Translucent as well. So I'm going to add that and I'm going to come back and we're going to talk about the Milk Makeup Mascara, the lip and also some of their eye pigments. Thank you. 
you guys I'll link all of the products that I'm gonna be that I use in this video down in the description box below so please check that out because that's where I put all of the information of the products that I do use if I forget to mention them uh, next we're gonna go in with the milk makeup eye pigments I have the shade purple rave black all-nighter and gold uh, what is this gold hotel lobby I think I'm just gonna go in with hotel lobby but I'll swatch all three of the shades I got so the purple one is rave the black one is all-nighter or that middle one is all-nighter and the gold one on the end is hotel lobby that is the three shades that I have samples of And as you can see, they're super pigment. You can use these as an eyeshadow. You can use them as a lip color if you wanted to. You can use them under your eyelid. You can use them uh, pretty much like in your waterline if you need to. They're so versatile and very pigmented and so creamy. You guys, these are so bomb. And I'm pretty much going to place that all over my lid or... Oh, no. I don't know. But I'm just going to blend my crease, same with the transition shade. I told you guys it's going to be so simple because I just, I really just wanted to see how they look on the eye. So I'm just going to blend my crease with that mineralized skin finish. So that's basically it for the eyes. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go in with this Kush Mascara. So, the good thing about this is that it has cannabis oil in it, which conditions the lashes. And a lot of people don't think that. People thinking that you get high off of this. This is not that type of deal. Just because it says Kush, it does have the cannabis oil in it, which conditions the lashes, like I said. So, don't be alarmed by this. So, off the jump, I do like that the brush is super, super thick. I like brushes like that, especially for the top lashes. And... I'm just gonna wiggle that on. I'm gonna add a couple coats just to see if it would like clump up and all that jazz. The only thing that I would say is that the brush is pretty big, so when you're trying to do your bottom lash line, you definitely gotta be careful. This is the wand. You definitely gotta be careful because it could get a little messy. But it's pretty fine to me it did flare out my lashes to give them a little bit of volume lengthening I do not see like I said I added a couple coats so it kind of like made them look a little thick like I like them on the ends but so far so good my face feels like I have nothing on it like I keep thinking I don't have I didn't do the foundation yet but so far so good with all of the milk stuff so I'm gonna go in with I don't have a blush for um, milk so I'm gonna go ahead and use this Tarte Amazonian clay um, blush in the shade Parte I haven't used this in a while so I'm just gonna go in with that just to add a little bit of color on my cheeks I'm gonna go in with the milk lip veil and I have it in the shade Flossy. I did get a sample of this because I haven't, I don't know how I like, how I feel about it. This one is super thick, just off of this, just me squeezing some out in a little jar. But the shade is super pretty. I'm going to go over my lips with my MAC lip liner and cork. Just to get some definition. It's, it's a bit thick, but I feel like it's one of those liquid like demi matte lipsticks like it's really pigmented I feel like this will last throughout the day now I'm just gonna put on a little bit of highlighter they I didn't get one of their highlighters this is my ColourPop uh, loose powder highlighter in the shade pose so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on and then we're gonna spray the face with my Lancome fix it forget it setting spray and then I'm gonna come back with my final thoughts and yeah I'll be right back right, you guys so this is the finished look I 
actually like how this turned out. The makeup is super, this foundation is so lightweight. I, I don't know if it's truly a like matte finish because I'm pretty like glowy and dewy the way that I like, but I really think it has something to do with my moisturizer. So if you wanna try this makeup, I would say try the foundation without your typical moisturizer first to see if it's super matte. If it's too matte for you, then add your everyday moisturizer that you would normally use. But so far I like all of the Milk Makeup products that I did use. You guys know I'm always for a matte lip, but I can actually see myself wearing the lip veil as well. So I don't, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at how this look actually came out. If you just wanted to do a simple glow look using some really natural lightweight products, then Milk Makeup is definitely an option and a way for you to go. So yeah, I give this Milk Makeup products a two thumbs up. So if you enjoyed this first impression of Full Face of Milk Makeup, then give this video a thumbs up so I'll know you guys like when I do first impression type of videos and trying new makeup here on my channel. That would let me know what type of videos you like to see here. But nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.